you think they are still in the title race, Joe? I think they have to they have to put that to bed for now. I think Chelsea need to get through this period where they've not got players in form, where they've not got players available. Win three or four games, get back up the rhythm, and then we'll see. But Manchester City have been outstanding, and I just I cannot see them losing more than two games between now and the season. They're a real fantastic side, but that's the standard now. I, I agree with that. I think Chelsea have fallen off the pace a little bit. But I think you look at Chelsea, you look at Liverpool, out of the two I can see Liverpool putting a few games together, mounting a run together and having a challenge. Chelsea at the moment, you, you look at where that run's going to come. The, sometimes you look for home form. I think in the last six here they've only won one. They've struggled at home, they've struggled to score goals. Joe made a really good point there. It's the first time that the manager's got to a point where the team's not picking itself. I think he's trying to find a formation, he's trying to find a solution. I don't know what you think, Sam, when you were manager. Do you go through spells where sometimes it's just not working? No, exactly. I think uh, Lukaku, it, it can be an issue, it can be considered an issue at the moment because even the last game I was watching uh, against Brighton, for 20 minutes, I think in 20 minutes he, start, he touched the ball on, only once or twice. I believe that Chelsea doesn't involve the main striker in the build-up too much. Yeah. So sometimes it, the, the, the striker gets out of the rhythm and it's not easy to play in those conditions. So for sure, in my opinion, Chelsea will have to adapt and to use uh, Lukaku a little bit more and Lukaku will have to be better to get involved in the build-up just to get a little bit more rhythm. But I think it's a little bit difficult for Romelu Lukaku as well because when he was so he was superb at Inter Milan because he had this partnership with Latoro Martinez. And I think amongst them, they had eight goals together, and he also provided a lot of assists. But with Chelsea, the front three was always it's chopping and changing. He can't build that partnership. Me, forgive me if I get I remember when he was playing for Chelsea. But Chelsea, uh, sorry, for Inter. Inter, he was using the, the main striker all the time. He was one, two, three passes, and then Lukaku. Yeah. One, two, three passes, and then Lukaku. With Chelsea, it's different. Chelsea plays the ball a lot around yeah. the box and they only get uh, get to Lukaku just in the final touch and sometimes it takes longer it, it, and it's not easy. I think it might be a patience thing with him. I think he likes yeah. to be involved in the game because he's got so many attributes. He likes to run. He holds the ball up. But R Franco's right. At Chelsea, sometimes he needs to be patient and, and, and the ball needs to come in at the right time. And he's obviously frustrated. Obviously, we've seen that with the quotes. But these are the games he's been bought for. Make the difference today. And, and, and he needs a goal. And I don't see the same player. Sorry, Michelle. I don't see the same player that we saw in the Euros for Belgium. Running the channels, running in behind defenders, causing defenders a problem, scoring goals. I saw a perfect example last week against Brighton. The ball wasn't slightly to his liking, where normally he'd run the channel and he'd power past the defender. And he turned round and he had a little bit of uh, an argument with the teammate. Yes, the way that Chelsea plays sometimes isn't to his strengths, but he's a £100 million player. He has to be making a difference for this team. And he has to be making a difference in big games, which is something that, in the past, in the Premier League at least, he's never really turned up against the big six side. Well, that's been accused him, but I, I think his goal-scoring record for all over Europe, for Belgium, is outstanding. I, I think he can do it, but I think he, he, he needs he a needs support. He's right. Uh, Thomas Sukel's right, but he also... I think he needs to free the shackles. Go and be a bully. Go and back onto the, the set of vendors. Go and really, this is the Premier League. You can do that here. You know what? Because I was looking at both the strikers coming in here today. Harry Kane, who obviously didn't start the season very well, but he's picking up form under Conte. Lukaku started the season well, but dropping off right now. Both of them overall hasn't been contributing too much uh, based on the expectations initially of the season. I was watching the Leicester Spurs game, and I was thinking, you know what? Maybe Romelu Lukaku might get a lot of joy here playing as in, in that Spurs side against Leicester that with that space to you're run into. mischievous, Michelle. With I know where you're going. Into, hypothetically, hypothetically, Very do, hypothetically. Do you think that maybe <laughs> Lukaku would fit into Spurs well and Harry Kane would fit into Chelsea well? I can tell Franco? you, for me, the way they play, the, the way Conte plays, yes, I, I believe that uh, you'll be better. But it's not... Uh, I think uh, Lukaku will fit very well in Chelsea. The only thing, uh, as I said, Chelsea will have to use it a little bit more. 
get him involved more on the pitch during the game. Not just touch the ball every now and, every now and then, because otherwise the players, you know, and we are all big footballers, if you don't touch the ball for long spells, yeah. you, you lose the rhythm and you get frustrated. And that's what you don't want. I've, I've, I've played with some players who don't mind not touching the ball. Like, I used to like not touching the ball for a long time. <laughs> it meant my team was doing okay. <laughs>